I started down this road, you know, of art and trying to like do, I think one of the skills that I'm proficient at, which is sheet metal forming. And I, you know, started forming this big piece and started mapping out and I'm have to make a buck and all this stuff. And I really, I don't know, something just made me stop. And I think it was my subconscious that, I don't know, when you, but that stuff, that light, thin, auto body, aluminum metal against Paley's like huge, heavy steel. I just didn't think it would look good. I kind of had an epiphany where like, why am I not doing this sculpture just like I do everything else? Like the skeleton of it and the, the, you know, nuts and bolts, inner workings that holds everything together. And so basically what I did is sketch out a skeleton. I kind of know the way he thinks he's going to make his, and I'm kind of pointing him in a direction that he needs to go. His is going to have to come up from the bottom and up through the center of mine and like kind of blossom. And he'll see that, that path and take it. I know it, you know, and I'm like even going to put the mounting holes where he needs to mount his. So what we'll do is this stuff will be all like water jet cut stainless, then we'll grind it. And these will be machined out of aluminum. And then all the, the spine will kind of articulate the way these bolt on. I think we also need to like shorten sh radius in this way on the length. Like cut it. So yeah. So like this curve. Yeah. Yeah. Each one, unless I change the spacing of three, like right now it's a two inch bolt pattern. Almost. Yeah. Aluminum's so like, easy to blend and shape. Yeah. I mean, just I watch your, watch your counter bore. So it doesn't get like paper yeah, thin right there. That's another thing, bolting it together. Well, just do a pocket though and make the bolt exposed. I don't mind that. And I think that'll make it look more articulated if it's, if the bolts exposed. If we could do it where we just send a bolt through that's like a, a nice nut. Be way nicer. They're so basically doing this thing structural wise, exactly how we would do a motorcycle or a car part or something like that and making it all the little yeah. details like the hardware and the finishes and the surface finishes and all that stuff. This whole thing is sick. So we're leaving it two feet short of our end up. So Albert can come up two feet past where we are. Yeah. So that was the kind of theory, like almost taking a back seat to his stuff and letting ours like complement his where he, we stop six feet and then he can go another two feet to the eight foot limit. that kind of barrel shape of, of pieces to be made out of solid aluminum, we have to start with some pretty giant, you know, 300 pound chunks of aluminum to do that. So Mike has to pre-cut all of it, then comes in with the 3D and surfacing. This is like number one of the ribs. We'll finish these in block sand them and this will go out to like a military spec anodizer and we'll put a real industrial cool finish on it. But all the hardware will be detailed and I don't know, it's kind of my thumbprint is I like to do stuff that maybe isn't that much in your face, but the closer you get, you see all the little neat details. So.
Well, when he put it together, one of the pins came from the inside and hit the bottom of the hole and put a little divot in the, our surface finish. And it's right by the first bolt, right by Albert and my names. It'd be one of those things, if I saw someone that did that, or any of us, we'd be, ha <laughs> you guys suck. It makes me feel really good that we do pretty much everything here, though, because we can fix it.